Hello there, Sarah from 17 once again, bringing you the final section in my Mass Effect 2, the Arrival DLC video walkthrough. And this is on Insanity Difficulty, for all those masochists out there that enjoy a challenge as much as I do. And uh, this is moving towards the, the last part of the DLC. And we're pretty much going to be doing for the main part exactly what we've been doing in every other fucking room of the DLC. So just moving through, killing dudes, moving through, killing dudes. Very similar strategies. There's nothing too exotic. The, the final room is pretty bad. And this room right here is a little challenging as well. The key to, to conquering this next section is just be patient. Never rush into this room until you know there's just those two guys at the far end of the room that don't push forward. If you rush at any other time, you're going to get digged. And it's all about avoiding seeing that death screen because anybody that plays Mass Effect 2 knows it takes a fucking eternity to load when you die and that's probably more frustrating than the death itself. So try and avoid it by being smart and playing intelligently. Uh, oh, and something I'd like to mention as well. Uh, somebody messaged me the other day on, on YouTube asking if they, they could host some of my work on their website. Uh, I don't know the, the guy personally but I checked the site out it's called Game Guide Central, and it's a, a pretty cool looking hub for finding video walkthroughs and, and various walkthroughs of any kind for uh, the upcoming titles. It's pretty small at this moment in time, but they do have my, my Crisis 2 guide on there, so it's uh, an awesome little prop for me and an awesome little prop for them, so check it out if you're interested in that kind of thing. Uh, I'm definitely happy to see my, my hard work going places, so that's pretty cool and I thought I'd mention it, so big thanks to them. And now back to the video. Once you've killed all those main guys, once you get to this section, there are two dudes just around this corner. There's the first one, sorry, there's three. One is a flamer as well, so kill the flamer first, because if he comes up to you, that dude is a fucking menace. You want to make sure that they always die. The luxury of this moment is, if you can kill the flamer by hitting his backpack, you're probably going to kill the other guys as well, because they're all so close together. I'm not taking any chances here, though, and I'm using my heavy weapon, because it dicks people at this range, and it strips shields, it strips life, and it hits numerous dudes, so... It's, it's a fantastic weapon. I just wish you could find more ammo for the heavy weapons because I would literally use nothing but them. I know that would probably unbalanced and make the game super easy, but it would also make it really fun, so why not? But uh, when you go to this door, there's a nice bypass mini game which I haven't seen for a while, so I was kind of taken back. But they're dead simple, they're not that difficult. This is not Alpha Protocol, where when you set it on the hardest difficulty, the hacking gets so fucking ridiculous that you can practically fail just by trying to open a bloody door. God, that game was weird. But once you come inside here, you can push this down, and that's the second one done. And it's just a case of finishing up the Doctor now, and getting the, the hell off of this rock, as I'm probably going to title this video. But nothing is as simple as that, so we've got to go through a couple dudes before we can even get there. So once you come down here, there's going to be another bit of a cutscene. Well, we see Shepard doing his, his best impression of the roadie run there. He aims across at the scientist with the shitty hair. And uh, the best thing about this section is, because this bitch loves to rant on so much, you can cut her off by pressing the right trigger and doing one of the renegade moments, which just involves you shooting her. So as soon as you see the grenade, which looks a, a lot like the grenades off Perfect Dark, I don't know if anybody spotted that, but that looks like the N-bombs off of Perfect Dark as well, if anybody used those. But um, she, she she still cooks it. She does a Terminator 2, that black guy that gets shot to shit and doesn't know how much longer I can hold this thing and then triggers it and whatnot. So we've, we've all been blown up, shit's kicking off. Shepard gets to his, his weary feet and rubs his face through his helmet because he's a magician. And um, she'll be back to us now as we try and get off of this, off the ship. And I thought right now what was going to happen is it was going to be one of those really, you know, dramatic, cinematic, exploding things where you're running through and all, all the levels blowing up around you, but you're not actually in any kind of trouble. And I thought it was going to be something cool like that to get to that, that comm tower and then get picked up by the Normandy, but unfortunately it's kind of exactly the same as what we've just been doing. It's just there's an even bigger battlefield and there's a time limit, so if those are two things that, you know, get you wetter than an otter's pocket, you're probably going to enjoy it. If they don't, you're probably going to have some difficulties, so luckily enough that's exactly what this guide is for, so here we go anyway. Uh, the next section is quite cool, because as you move through these rooms, there's there's going to be some stuff to pick up. There's going to be a refill for your heavy weapon, so 
that's always good news in my book because my heavy weapon is, is paid so much dividends in this playthrough that it made me fall in love with the gun because I think this is the first time I ever used it but if you come in here there should be some stuff to read, there should be some stuff to pick up and all sorts of different you know modules to find and palladium and whatever else so take your time when you're in these rooms and keep moving down this corridor dead simple stuff and because there's, there's not really much to talk about uh, I'm probably going to talk about some things that might be future projects because I've got there's a couple of games I'm looking forward to, to putting up as I keep mentioning which I've been mentioning for a while there's going to be a Castlevania guide coming it's also going to have the old intro because it's been so long since I started it uh, there's also an epic demolition that I've been trying to upload for the last month it's 17 minutes long so YouTube keeps denying it but hopefully uh, one of my subscribers I think sent me a, a quick tip on how to get away with uploading bigger videos so I'm going to try that on Tuesday uh, uh, quick piece of information as well as far as this video goes uh, on Tuesday is when I'm going to be uploading all of the, the arrival so that's when it'll all go up it's a bit redundant me saying it in the last video when you'll be seeing it on a Tuesday but you know there you go uh, I've also got a shit ton of combat training uh, footage that I recorded when I first got my, my HD PVR and it's just ridiculous you know no scopes, quick scopes, ballistic knives, tomahawks, crossbows all that kind of silliness and um, I'm probably gonna throw a bunch of the, the best parts from that into some a couple of montages with some music on just to you know bring something different to my channel I've got a bunch of Modern Warfare 2 commentaries that I've done that I've not uploaded yet which I'm saving I've got a stack of 4 and Black Ops but I'm, I'm not really in the mood to put them up yet I'm probably going to be getting a, a ton more so hopefully I'll get something that does interest me uh, I might be putting a little bit more of Crisis 2 up I don't know if I get Killzone 3 I'll probably be putting up some multiplayer on that on top of the guide that I'll do but it's just a case of diversifying my channel and putting interesting content on that people want to watch because you know, that's what it's all about. That's the that's the goal. Building my channel into something that people want and people need, like like any of the big YouTubers out there. There's a reason to keep coming back because they keep delivering things that you enjoy. And I like doing it and hopefully people like watching it, so why not? But right now, as you can see, the big fella's turned up, so we've got all these dudes rushing us. Don't worry about the alpha relay proximity at the bottom. It's, it's, it is a time limit, I think, but it isn't anything imperative, so just take your time, don't panic, and just prioritise targets. And as soon as you can clear out the right-hand side of this area, you can start moving out and taking on the drone. Because what's going to happen is, I use... Um, an AI exploit with with the with the robot. I shoot him and then I move out just enough so that he can see me and it will make him fire a missile. And when he fires a missile, because there's a delay before him firing it, you can move back in cover. It doesn't hurt you. You can move back out. You can shoot him. He tries to fire a missile. You move back in cover and you can just exploit that part of the AI. So as you see, I'm just moving out, shooting him, moving out, shooting him. He goes to fire a missile. It hits me that time because I don't fucking get on the ball yet. But I had my barrier on, so it wasn't a problem. And the best thing to do is just... Right now there's a dude though shooting at me who's making this a little bit more challenging than it should be. And I should really have killed him as well. But I'm focusing on this robot because he's very close. And he's going to fire his missile. That's the movement he does. He does a little stand up, he moves his arm and then he fires. And now it's just a case of... Am I going to take that guy out? Yes I am. Here we go. There's two on him. And I missed that shot somehow. Don't ask me how. Fire another one to clean them up and then it's back to the robot but you can just keep circling out towards him shooting then as soon as he goes to fire the missile, he's firing a missile, get back in go back out, shoot see what I mean, the AI does, he's, he's firing a missile, get back in there it is, back out and you can just use this strategy to cheese him and it makes it a very simple fight and it's purely because the cover is so big he doesn't know the best way to get around it, the cover to kill me and I'm using that as, as an advantage because they can't mantle over surfaces but the AI doesn't acknowledge that it just thinks it can try and get me that way and it goes there and it gets feedback from the game saying you can't go this way it tries going the other way and then I lure it back in and it's just manipulating the, the mechanic so but that is the the end of the video there's gonna be some some communication to I don't know what the name of the Reaper is but he's there like a little fucking glove fingered scarab thing and he's got an awesome voice because they've done some really cool effects on his voice and there's a nice little dialogue about about the future of the Mass Effect universe but yeah it's not too bad a piece of content I guess it could have been better but 
it's just one of those things Mass Effect seems to be just so damn playable because it's such a good game that you don't really mind that it doesn't have the the most innovative or intuitive gameplay but yeah there's there's another two minutes worth of this before it ends and, and I've kept it in just to show you to the end of the thing but this is effectively the end of the DLC you should get 50 G for for beating it uh, you don't get anything for beating on insanity which if you ask me is fucking ridiculous because you should always be always be complimented for your troubles but you know it doesn't work that way sometimes but I hope the guide helped I hope I mean it's not the most challenging of things but there are a couple of areas which you might get stuck on and hopefully it'll have come through for you but once again thanks for watching if you're new, please subscribe. I'm going to be trying to bring as much content as I can to my channel, especially in the next few months. I'm hoping to, to blow up pretty quickly and pretty epically and build my empire. I need as much help as I can get, so I'm grateful for each and every one of you. Thanks for your support, and you take care now.